All aboard! The train is now leaving the station. Am I right, Nima? Check out my Larry Davis ticker. It's fucking hilarious, right? You heard the conductor. We back at it. We still on this Eminem train. Moving right along to Recovery. Now, Recovery, in my eyes, is probably one of the more important Eminem albums in his discography. Reason being is he just came off of a questionably good album. I personally thought it was good. His storytelling was next level on Relapse. And the struggle about having to write while trying to get sober came through. It was very, it was a very vulnerable album in the sense that the album was all over the place and he knew it. So in my eyes, Recovery is the first album where we get the switch into the new Eminem that we have today. New Eminem is very heavy on the wordplay. New Eminem is very aggressive with the delivery. New Eminem, you have to listen to over and over again and just to understand a bar. There's so many double and triple entendres almost within every new line in New Eminem songs. Recovery on forward, all have a very similar sound, just like Encore, Backward, all have a very similar sound. Now, when I was trying to decide what song to do off of Recovery, there's so much wordplay going on that almost every song is breakdownable. I was like, what song impacted me the most when I had first heard the album? This is probably the last album I bought on CD. I was working at Best Buy at the time, is besides the point. I decided to go with the first song on the album because it's Eminem coming and saying, all right, I'm back, bitches. And also, when I heard the first line, it got me so fucking hyped because I was like, this motherfucker's back. And we're going to be breaking down Cold Wind Blows. So as I always say, let's just jump on into it. Because some things just don't change. It's better when they stay the same. I'm the whole world knows your name. Someone on biggest days, they came to see us bitch again. The world shouldn't be difficult to explain Just why you came back again You hate the fame, love the game Cold as ice, you remain Fuck them all, tell them all Eat shit, here we go again so that whole intro, that's not the first bar I was talking about. It is important though, some things just don't change. And this should be foreshadowing for Slim Shady because he's saying some things just don't change. I'm bettering myself and getting healthier, but mentally, I'm gonna still be that same jackass that you love to hate. It shouldn't be difficult to explain just why you came back again. You hate the fame, but love the game. That's why he's back. He was talking about quitting. He was talking about a hiatus. I hate the fame, but I love rap. I love the game. <laughs> Imagine when this song came out, and this is the first beat drop of the whole album. It's just Blaze behind the keys and behind the production. It gets you hyped when you hear it. I'm fucking hyped. That's what I was thinking when I heard it for the first time. You can get the dick, just pour me the ball sack. I'm not Michael Vick in this bitch. Don't fall back, you much fuck your worms. You never seen such a sick, put me fucking a sick. Yeah, I want my gut sick, mommy. Oh. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We're wondering if Eminem is ever gonna be the Eminem that he was prior. Are we ever gonna get that Marshall Mathers? Are we ever gonna get that potency when it comes to rhyming and style and skill? The first line of the album, bitch, you can get the dick, but he also says you can get the dick and then just Blaze drops the fucking track. You can get the dick, just call me the- Just call me the ball sack, I'm nuts. Literally like nuts inside of a scrotum. Michael Vick in this bitch, dog. Bitch, female dog, dog, Michael Vick. Fall back, you mutts. I'm Michael Vick, who got prison time for illegal dog fighting and treating dogs badly. So he's saying, you're a fucking dog. I'm Michael Vick in this bitch. Fall back before you get hurt. <sighs> Fuck your worms. You've never seen such a sick pup. You think you're sick, dog? Sick dog. Dogs get stomach worms. Dog get heartworm, flat worms. <sighs> Bruh. Oh, fuck it, I'm a sick duck. I want my duck sick. Instead of saying I want my dick suck, I want my duck sick to make it rhyme with sick duck, mommy. Bruh. Yeah, I laugh when I call you a slut. It's funny. Like, yeah, I'm still that same dick that's talking about chicks and bitches and clits. Ooh, son, I just fucking made that up right now. Shorty, dance while I diss you to the beat. Fuck the words, you don't even listen anyway. 
This is like 10 years ago almost. He was calling people out for not listening to the words in the song back then. Talk about knowing where the game is going. This is why he's one of the GOATs. You know what, fuck that. This is why he is the GOAT. I tried to say one of the GOATs because all y'all talking shit like he's not, but fuck y'all. But like the video though, please. Might as well let my lips pucker like Elton John Cause I'm just a mean cock sucker Cause Elton John is gay and presumably sucks dick because he's gay So I might as well let my lips pucker like Elton John Cause I'm just a mean cock sucker Bruh Bruh he says this shit is on. You want the smoke? You got that shit. This shit is on cause you went and pissed me off. Listen to that fucking wordplay off and on. Now I'm shitting and pissing on everybody. Give a fuck if it's right or wrong. You got me pissed off enough to where I said fuck everyone. But take a look at Mariah next time I inspire you to write a song. This was back when he just fucking killed Mariah Carey with a diss. Take a look at them next time I inspire any of you fucking haters to write a song. In case you don't remember what I did to Jaw Rule already. Oh, oh, oh. I'm as cold as a cold wind blows When it snows and it's putting me low Ask me why, man, I just don't know No, 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 no That's pretty straightforward. I'm as cold as the cold wind blows. Again, the eeriness of the beat, the coldness of the beat, like I can feel, just like on the fucking album cover, he's walking on the street, the cold wind's blowing. The whole video could just be him walking on the street, us tracking backwards while he's coming toward us, and just rapping the whole song. Fuck it, I'm a loose cannon. Bruce Banner's back in the booth. Y'all are sitting ducks. I'm the only goose standing. I set the world on fire. Piss on it, put it out. Stick my dick in the circle, but I'm not fucking around, motherfucker. So you <laughs> Bro, when I heard that line for the first time, that shit was lit. Fuck it, I'm a loose cannon. Bruce Banner back in the booth. Bruce Banner's the chill dude, but inside of him, when he's fueled with anger, boom, the fucking Hulk comes out. Bruce Banner's back in the booth. Y'all fucked up. Y'all are sitting ducks. I'm the only goose standing. Sitting ducks, as in duck, duck, goose, as in ready to pluck these motherfuckers one by one. I'm the only goose standing, because the goose is the one that's circling around the prey in duck, duck, goose. I wrote a line on a song that I wrote a while back with a goose fucking reference, or a duck reference. What'd I say? What'd I say? You know what? Fuck it. Let me find it. Bitch, I press against the green in which the typical goes. Hey, yo, I'm unreal now from this planet and you have to be touched. Why you thinking I'm soft? I think you're stupid as fuck. I'm plucking these motherfuckers. They stuck sitting like ducks. It's time for haters to sign off, man. Good night and good luck. Yeah, that was my fucking verse on this song that I wrote back in 2013. The best part, though, was when he says, I stick my dick in a circle, but I'm not fucking around. Dick in a circle, around. I'm not fucking with a dick. Around, I'm not fucking around. This is new Eminem with this crazy wordplay. Pussy footing whenever you're kind of just pussy footing around the main subject. When cats are praying, they have really soft steps, so they call it pussy footing. I'll show you pussy footing. I'll kick a bitch in the cunt till it makes it queef and sound like a fucking whoopee cushion. Kick a bitch in the cunt, literally pussy foot kick. You hear the fucking wordplay in this song? Go ahead. Call me a faggot because I hate a pussy. Call me a faggot because homosexuals don't like vaginas when they're when they're gay dudes, but not literally a vagina, but he just act, he just hates someone who's bitch made. Call me a faggot because I hate a pussy. God. He says, man the fuck up. G's up, like G's up, hoes down. All you gardeners freeze up, put your hoes down. Hoes like watering hoes and hoes, but put your hoes down, G's up. Shady E's up, we can't even deal with this right now. This is the first song on the album and you're coming like this at us? Shady E's up, man chill. Now I can't, God damn it, rap is a landfill. Drop the anvil, these are shoes that you can't fill. Shit the day that happens, a world will stop spinning in like a dead box, so come to a standstill. Do it in a quick urine in your face, cause you're fat. Shady E's up, man chill. Now I can't, God damn it, rap is a landfill. Like rap is just a bunch of fucking trash, like a landfill. 
These are shoes that you can't fill. You can't fill these shoes, they're too big for you, kid. Very common saying. Shit, the day that that happens, that you fill my shoes, the world will stop spinning and Michael J. Fox will come to a standstill during an earthquake. Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's disease or had it before he passed away. Literally, physically cannot stand still. So the day that you're able to fill him in them shoes, Michael J. Fox will come to a standstill during an earthquake. During an earthquake, urine in your face cause you're fat. Ah, what the fuck, that earthquake? Ah, what the fuck? I just got struck by lightning. I'm right, then I quit, gotta give up. And get struck by lightning twice, and that's like foreshadowing. Marshall Mathers 2 LP, and the first song where he says, he caught lightning in a bottle twice, and he's pleading, all right, God, you're striking me down. I give up. Call that evil that didn't do. Lord, forgive me for what my pen do. This is for your sins. I cleanse you. You can forget God. I want you to you continue to hell I see you. And just then the wind blew, and I said, I so God's talking to him. He's giving him his ultimatum. I'll forgive you, I'll cleanse you of your sins if you repent, but I'll warn you if you continue to hell, I'll send you like he's gonna keep going. And just then the wind blew. I wasn't able to hear the rest of what God said about if I continue, so I guess, fuck it, I'm gonna continue anyway because I didn't hear what's gonna happen. The wind said, God, I'm gonna let you finish, but Eminem is the best rapper of all time. Kanye mode. How long will I be this way? How long will I be this way? Shady until my dying day. Just like he said at the beginning, some things just don't change. Till I hang up the mic and it's time for me to say so long, but until then, I'ma drop the fucking bombs. Like I missed the pass when I went long. The fucking wordplay. I'm gonna drop the fucking bombs, as in I'm gonna drop the fucking hits like the song's bomb, but also I'm gonna drop the bombs, as in cussing, F-bombs, you know, that kind of shit but also drop the bomb like a pass when you went long. That's what they call a Hail Mary. That's what they call a bomb pass. Like you just fucking let that shit fly. Like fucking bomb it. Drop the fucking bomb like I dropped the pass when I went long. I fucking can't. You know what I'm saying? My ass in a lame thong, I sing along, slut this, slut that, on the words of the song. Oh, bitches don't like that. Hope me, I'll be nicer to women when not one man drowns and a human torch starts swimming. Man, I love you call some Slut this, slut that, learn the words of the song, but bitches don't like that. I'll be fucking nice to these women when Aquaman drowns and the human torch starts swimming. All of these things are never gonna fucking happen, so that's when I'll be nice to these women. Fucking never. The human torch starts swimming, man, I'm a cold song, I wrote so low, so don't compare me to the mother bones over there. It's like apples to oranges, peaches to blooms, yeah, I'm bananas, pussy, cut off the grapes and grow a pear, but I swear, you try to diss me, I slaughter you. <laughs> Bro, the fucking syllable play. I'm a cold soul. I roll solo, so don't compare me to the mother bums over there. But the way he fucking says it, the way he puts the enunciation on the words, he says, man, I'm a cold soul. I roll solo, so don't compare me. Fucking sick. It's like apples to oranges, peaches to plums. That's what people say. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Yeah, well, you can still compare them, but I hear you. She like apples to oranges. Well, you can still compare them, but I hear you. Bitch, that phrase don't make no sense. Why can't fruit be compared? It's just all of these conflicting principles. She like apples to oranges. Bitch, that phrase don't make no sense. Why can't fruit be compared? She like, I'm gonna leave. It's just all of these conflicting principles. You try to diss me, I'll slaughter you. I put that on everything like everyone does with auto-tune. This was back when auto-tune was hella fucking coming out. I think Kanye just released 808s and Heartbreaks like a year before. And then everybody was fucking following Kanye. I'm bananas pussies, cut off the grapes and grow a pear. And but all fitting in the whole theme of fruit. And the last thing you want to do is have me spit out a rhyme and say I was writing this and I thought of you. Because everybody that I've ever done that to is fucking donezo. Song is fucking fuego. Imagine coming out of this hiatus, coming out of all this bullshit, drug addiction, rehab, relapse, back into rehab. No one knows what's up with Eminem. Is he ever going to be the rapper he was before? And then all of a sudden, first track on your new album. This is it. Appreciate y'all guys for joining me on this Eminem journey that we're going on right now. We're probably gonna take a pit stop because there's some new shit coming out. You gotta flex something other than Eminem every once in a while. Yes, those videos don't get as many views, but I ain't in it for the views. 
I'm fucking lying to you. I'm definitely in it for the views. But that's secondary to the fact that I just like doing this shit. Hope that comes across that, that I'm passionate about this shit. If it comes across that I'm passionate about it, give it a subscribe because I'm staying passionate about it, baby. The editing, the fucking content, the fucking breakdowns, the reactions. But thank y'all guys for being here. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all guys on the next one. Peace. Awkward.